Hi and welcome to another PHP tutorial. In the past couple of tutorials we've been looking at handling form data using PHP and we've looked at how to handle form data from um, things like text boxes and radio buttons. So um, in the next couple of tutorials we'll be looking at different uh, form elements. Um, so in this tutorial we'll look at, um, we'll use text boxes again but we'll also look at using text areas which are basically larger text boxes that can contain more text and we'll also look at using password fields. Okay, so um, to start with we'll create a form. So I've got a form.php file here which contains some HTML code and in the body section here I'm going to add the form and then I've got an action handler.php file in the same folder which will basically handle the form data. So in the body section we'll add the form tag. I'll say form action equals action underscore handler.php so the action handler.php file will handle this form handle the data and we'll do that using the post method okay I'll just close off that form tag and then go back and make some space inside it firstly um, we'll make a paragraph so what we'll do here is um, allow the user to enter a username a password and then just um, maybe a comment if the um, text area. So not the greatest example, but just imagine that um, the user is posting a comment and to do so they must enter um, the username and password at the same time um, with along with the comment. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll say username and say input type equals text. So we'll just use a normal text box here and name equals username, okay? So we've got that, all right? Then um, we'll have password, okay? So I'll just make a bit of space there. This is all gonna be on one line. So password, input type equals password. So this time, instead of using text for a text box, we're gonna use a password field. So we'll say password, and name will also be password. Okay, and we'll close off that paragraph, all right? Then in a new paragraph, we'll have uh, a text area, Oops. so I'll say text uh, area, one word, and um, whoops, just inside the first text area tag, just before that um, angle bracket closes, so say text area name equals comment. All right, so we'll give it a name of comment, and then close off that text area tag, and lastly, uh, we'll say input type equals submit, and we'll just uh, add a value there, which will also be submit or send or send data or something like that. Okay, we'll just make it submit. Close off the paragraph tag, make sure the form tag's closed off, um, and we'll go and have a look at this form. That's what it looks like. So we've got username, password, and then this text area box here, which can be, um, which the user can change the size easily, as well as the submit button. And you can set the size of this text area as well. You can change the width and height and set it to a specific um, width and height, but I'll just leave that at the moment. So username can be entered in here, password can be entered in here, and notice that the password is covered, uh, so the user can't see it. And then a message can be entered in there as well, and they can submit it. Okay, just going back to the code, we've finished the form, now we need to go to the action handler.php file and um, process that form data. So we'll make a variable for each, um, each field in that form. So firstly, the username. So username equals um, post username. Okay, and then basically we can just copy and paste that. So copy paste and just change it to uh, password, the second one, and then password there as well. And then the last one was, I think, comment. Let's check. Uh, yep, his name was comment. So put comment there and the name of comment there. Okay, and that's it. All right, so now we need to add an if statement. Firstly, the, uh, this if statement, what it will do is just check um, if the username or the password or the comment field were left empty. So we'll do check all three of those at the same time in an if statement. 
Um, so if they were left empty, we'll tell the user that they must complete all fields. Otherwise, if they weren't left empty, then we'll um, maybe say hello there and then put their username in and then say thank you for your comment and display the comment back to them. And we could also display the password back to them, but um, that would be a silly idea. That wouldn't be very good practice. So note at the moment, this is not a secure form, okay? Um, the password is just being sent as plain text. It's not encrypted in any way. So um, if you're planning on making some sort of user login um, or protecting your site um, with um, a password system, then um, there's more than just this that you need to do. You need to do more than just this. You need to have encryption um, and um, use hash keys instead of um, plain text passwords. So um, this is just an example of using the different types of input um, or form elements, okay? So there's more that you need to do if you wanna have a secure um, proper login or something like that. So say if empty, okay, and then we'll, um, check the first one. So we'll say if username is empty. All right, and then we'll put two bars in, two vertical bars for or. So if empty username or empty uh, password or empty comment. So now if, in other words, if any of these are left empty, if one or two or all of them are left empty, then we'll say, um, you must complete all fields. All right, so something like that. Okay, else, so if nothing's left empty, they're all completed by the user. Then we'll say echo, hello there, username. Um, and then we might just add a break. Echo, thank you for your comment. And it's also important to note that there's not actually any comment being stored in a database or anything like that. I'm just showing how to process the, I'm just showing how to process the actual data and um, get data from a form. Um, so it's not being stored in a database or anything, but we'll display the comment back to the user. And just to distinguish the comment from this message, we'll put the comment in italics after putting it on a new line with the break tag. Um, and that's it. Okay. Okay, so I've saved that. Now I'll just go back to the browser and refresh this page here. And so we can enter in a username, my username, my password, and just a little message like, um, what a great site, and then submit. Okay, so there it says, hello there, my username, thank you for your comment, what a great site. All right, so that's basically how to um, use different form elements and process the data using PHP. So we've worked with text boxes, text areas and passwords. Um, in another tutorial, we've also worked with uh, radio buttons. And in the next tutorial, we'll look at how to use checkboxes. Okay, that's all for this tutorial though. Thanks for watching.